Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain, SiteWorks training videos. In this quick video, I wanted to show you how you could use your SiteWorks dad, data collector to shoot this back of curb and actually offset over if there was a sidewalk that needed to be made at this point along the back of this curb. Now, I know that a lot of designs change based on is the sidewalk right at the back of curb or is it offset because there's a planter box, whatever it is. Most sidewalks, in my, in my experience, have been a 2% back to the curb. So we'll just show you a quick video how to use advanced measurements on your data collector to shoot back a curb but project a model off to the backside to either check grade yourself, set hubs, or to export to a machine, to use in the machine. So coming back to the SiteWorks data collector, I'm going to create a new work order. So I'm going to go menu, project setup, change project, I'm going to do a new work order for the sidewalk offset. Going to go ahead and name it. And on my design, I do not have to run the actual design out here at the same time. I can just have it as no design needed. So I have a little bit of a blank screen. Okay, as I get out to the main screen right here, I have no design on. I have my tilt compensating on. What I want to do to get this set up right off the bat is go to the roller stuck in the mud, which is my measure type. I'm gonna go new line, and because I am gonna make a surface out of this when I'm done, I do wanna make it a break line. If you do a feature line and offset to the side, it's not gonna allow you to surface it out. Difference between line and break line. I'm gonna just call this uh, TBC sidewalk, just so I know what that line is when I create it. Really, it doesn't matter if you name it, but I'll always like to name what my lines are. Leave it as a break line, hit accept. Now the next thing I need to do though, is I'm set to actually go right here on top back of curve and start shooting the line. But if I wanna offset the line back as I make it to do that sidewalk, I gotta hit this icon, this offset line settings. The second one up here, offset line settings. What's my horizontal difference or distance? This is where you have to decide, do you want a little extra model? Do you want it to be right at back of walk? whatever there again your operators hate it when they run off the model so you could build it 20 30 feet doesn't matter but if i want the line to show up right where i want it i'm going to say hey this is a 10 foot sidewalk and where what this horizontal direction means is as if i'm walking straight this way i need to project either left or right so i'm going to do left and on the vertical offset i'm going to leave it as percentage because i know that it needs to be a two percent up on this design to flow back towards the curb. It would be a minus two if you wanna go down. Got that set, good to go. Don't have to level my bubble up too much because of tilt comp, but as soon as I take a shot and start walking, you will see it start creating that 10 foot offset. Pay attention to your curb, back of curb though, for the ups and downs, because as you take these shots, you want it to match what's there. So if you hit a high point, low point, whatever it is, Make sure you get those. In this scenario, the curve and gutter is going down gradually, but it's just one nice sweeping curve. So I'm gonna go every joint to every two joints on the, on the cuts there. Go ahead and take another shot. We do have the blue screen or the blue dots on the screen. Don't worry about it. That's because it's a brake line. It's creating surface points as we go. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to shoot this. We'll take, a, take another four or five shots and then I'll show you how to surface it out. We'll go ahead and take uh, this shot and maybe one more, and then I'll show you how to surface it and we can check some grade on it. Okay, so I'm good to go. You can see the blue line was the one that I shot, the red line's the, pros, uh, the offset. So I'm gonna hit the menu button and go to measure just to kind of cancel myself out. That's what I like to do. Now we're gonna go back into the menu button. We're gonna go data management and there's the surfaces design. Surface design, we'll call it the sidewalk. Uh, maybe we'll just say 10 foot, just so I kind of know what it is here. And I always want to include my measured line work so that I can see that on my screen or if I export it. I'm going to include it, and I'm going to use outermost points because it was a brand new work order. So I have no boundary that I have to actually isolate. We'll hit accept. Creates the surface, but I have to load the surface. So if I go back into my menu, Project setup, change project. Now I have that in my drop down here. I have a sidewalk 10 foot. If you don't want to see your line work on the screen for what you shot as your um, your 
your work order, you have this option. This is just something I like to show people. You could go and change it back to like the calibration one, but then still load your 10 foot sidewalk. Then you're going to see the line work just a little bit different on the screen. You'll still see it, but you won't have your uh, blue squares and stuff on the screen. So it doesn't look like much on the main plan view. If I were to step into the design and see, I have cut fill, but if you want to see the surface itself, you can go into surface, uh, into the uh, offset one here and see the surface. So uh, as you zoom out, you can roll it down and look at it and see that it does slope up. So we've got it. Now we've got something to check, grade. We can come out here. We can actually isolate the back line. So like if I needed to stake it, I could touch and hold on that back line to know exactly where that 10 foot is off of back of curb. Come, come over until we hit zero on my inward outward. Zoom in on it however you want to stake it. As soon as you're there, you also have a cut fill. So if you didn't have machine control out here, now I could come out, set my hub down on the ground, and actually set the hub right here, say, hey, there's back of walk, and there's finish grade, or you could put another offset. So if you need to check grade inside of it, if someone was manually checking it, you can go into your menu button, go down to settings, and go down to surface settings, and you could put in an offset and say, hey, you know, I'm going to put a putt point five, six inches down below, and then I'm going to come in and start checking grade. We know that we haven't cut this out yet. Um, I'm going to take it out of stake mode by hitting measure. And now my cut fill is telling me I don't have my flat foot on. I have a point, but I've got about two tenths to still go. So I'm just trying to show you how you can create this stuff. And then you could export this to a machine also, but... There is my back of walk, and I know that it matches the actual back of curb because I shot it myself. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on SiteWorks uh, training videos on uh, offsetting for a sidewalk using SiteWorks.